Howdy everybody, Big Fatty Plus, and welcome back to the Big Man Plays Martian Gothic Unification. When well, last left off, Karn found the Arboretum and a big old monster. He didn't mess with it, just kind of just stay back. Also, now everyone's got a gun. Also, there's no way to shut that stupid bioscanner off. So, uh... Yeah, it's gonna keep ticking down until it runs out of energy. Game, 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 game. Okay. Anyway. I need to find out where I need to go. Let's see. This was in the director's office. In the orange room. And I have... Blue keys. Where can I go for a blue key? No, straight ahead, I guess. So if I go straight ahead, I could go to a blue key, two blue key rooms. So let's do that. Assuming I can get out of this room, that is. Hey, my man, how you doing? How you doing, my man? What's going on? Anything here I need? No? Uh, let me make sure. Oh, yeah, that's what I was doing. I gotta send those to, uh, Matlock. Let me see, are you still dead? Awesome. Great, you stay there. You stay dead. For now. Okay, so that. That, and this has gotta go to... Medkey. Shut up! Place there, and... Yeah, we'll just send the biosensor to. So it'll shut it off. Uh, make it sure here, yes. Yes, there we go. Yep, we'll send all that up. Ma'am, if you if you get up again and I have to end here, I will cap you with my piccolo. Now I'm gonna leave Kenzo here while he has a nice chat with uh with uh what did I call him last time? Frickin' Houdini? No, I didn't call him Houdini. Man, y'all, you call you Houdini this episode, I don't even care. Because we now are going to switch to Matlock, who can finally get in on the action. Where'd I? Mining access area, nicknamed Times Square. Air foul, light levels low. Thank you for telling me that. That's, that's nice, Times Square. Times Square, which is, aha, over there. Excellent. We're facing up, so that means, uh, first things first, find a frickin' vac tube. Oh, oh, are you gonna get up on me? Okay, just gonna take that, I guess. Looks like he's been dead a long time. Good, let's hope he's... The smell reminds me of raw sewage. N no comment about how the fact he's uh, cold as ice? Blue tag required. Awesome, now he's gonna find that scanner and I'll be fine. Okay. So what's across from that? Some random frickin' door. Oops, this way! Let's check this one. What's in here? There's a loose cable right by the door. It's wedged tight. It'll take some force to dislodge this door. Uh, hmm. Hope that loose cable ain't electrified. That would suck. Very much so. And I love how the music just suddenly stop. What's this? Baker Street? Oh, we're finally in Baker Street. Okay, good. Hey, oh. A hacksaw. Note for Holmes and Piccolo ammunition. Awesome! She is loaded for whooping now! Makes me, Short, makes me happy. With sharp teeth. I had a dog like that one. Had to make that joke there. Had to make that little rib joke. What was it? A chihuahua? Examine the Holmes note. I say Holmes, just what... Some feet base in joke, I suppose. I say, Holmes, just what has Yuri been up to in Chemlab? 
concocting a subversive cocktail, I'll be bound. What? What? Hold on, I'm just... Okay, that, that note has to be worthless. That note has to be worthless. I'm just gonna... 221B Baker Street, mm. Sherlock Holmes' address. A personal touch from a fan of the Great Sleuth. Awesome. Must be the extra note there. I'm just gonna place that there because it's, it's, it's worthless to me. I don't want it. Go away. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a lot of doors. That's a lot of doors. That's oh! Did not notice the dead body there. It's walk around right top of it, but it's snaky that bit me. Actually, it's a zombie. Probably will try. It says Yuri Andreevich on the name badge. He's wearing a hole where his heart should be, a bullet hole. That's that's a funny joke there. Ah, micro recorder, lighter, probably useful cigarettes. Probably not useful. Brown tag. The brown tag. <laughs> the brown tag. Ah, that's funny. It freezes my fingers just to touch this corpse. Why is it so ice cold? I don't know. Maybe that's how they are in frickin' Mars. When you die, you turn ice instead of warm. I don't know. Uh, let's look at the examine. I make do with nicotine patches these days. Ah, so you quit smoking. Excellent. Good. Everyone should quit smoking. Can't do anything with that, but we can. Go pay attention this time. Yuri Andreevich, Biochemical Division, Daylog, August 8th, 2018. 9.45 a.m. I believe that today is the last day of my life. It all started with Operation Akarak. Akarak, what sort of name is that? But we heard it first in our dreams a year ago. An operation named after a voice in a dream. Ow. We used Earth Control, but it's different here on cold, silent Mars. Some dreams are bad. Some bad dreams come true. It's no good appealing to Earth. The whole planet is under the thumb of global corporations, hand in hand with the military. And behind them all, Earth Control. They don't care about people, only profit. But what can I do? I have the security clearance to access the explosives. Well, I've prepared something. A little cocktail. Just enough to blow an airlock, maybe. With no damage to my fellow base members. Just enough, perhaps, to delay the project for a while. You sound like a man with a volatile temperament, Yuri Andreevich. Mm hmm. Okay, so that means Yuri Andreevich was trying to stop this. Let me go drop off his freaking thing here. Because we don't need it anymore. Well, at least we now know that uh, he set off a bomb. Or tried to. Do I need those cigarettes? Do I need those cigarettes? Do I? Please tell me I don't. Okay, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna drop those. And the lighter, or the micro, micro recorder. Keep that. Alright, now. Let's see, let's check these rooms here. Mm, which one? Wait a minute, let me check the map. Let's see, I come from that way, so... Oh, so this is Piccadilly Circus. Awesome. Makes all the color code crap. Okay, so the brown door should be... That should be the brown door. Yep, that's the brown door. Okay, so we can go in there. Awesome! Use this. Now we're getting somewhere. Yes, we are! Hopefully no more nowhere nasty. Blood. Biochemical and Associated Activities Research Laboratory. Known to its friends as Kemler. You didn't need to did you need to expound upon that, ma'am. I think I could have guessed. Also, ooh, gimme, 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 gimme. Use vac tube. Martian rock. Oh, I'll take that. Probably don't need it, but take that, 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 and that. 
Now shut it off. Bring it back. I have no idea if I need that or not, but whatever. Probably gonna be a lot of misnomer items that I don't need. That I'll pick up. I'm like, oh, I think I need this. No, you don't. Uh, ooh, what's this? Take the flask. That's probably useful somehow, maybe. Oh, what's this? Oh, uh, your own bio sensor. Well, shoot, put that other one back. We don't need that. Shoot, I don't need that. Here, put that there. Boom, done. No. I said, put it back, not use it, you nung ninkapoop. God dang it. Yeah, I see it right there in the corner. Let me just, uh... Wait. <sighs> Forgot the controls for a second again. It displays human alpha and beta waves as signal. Each blip represents a human. If it goes into the red, it means I'm within biohazard range. Yes. Basically, you're gonna have to, I'm gonna guess, because I've never gotten this far in this game, is if this thing starts to turn red, it means, oh no, I should back up because I'm about to uh, make a very big boo-boo. What's this? Ooh, a locker with uh, desk key, lichen, receptor panel. Desk key, lichen, receptor panel. Health item, which she definitely needs. I guess I could put the scarab back. An Egyptian scarab, oh. gold plated. Probably not. What the hell is this? I forgot to put. Ah, <sighs> I didn't think to. Yeah. Didn't think to do anything with that. Forgot to put those away. Oh well. We took care of it. Scepter panel, I have no idea what that's for. Could be a desk key. I don't know! Could be a desk key, could be a piece of crap, I don't know. I'm gonna use a computer though. Alright, we're going to use Matt, Diane Matlock's code to, to find a little bit more about her while we're at it, which is 2915. Ah, there we go. Age 26, height 510, nationality British, we guessed that. Profession, microbiologist. Diane Matlock is a cultured, well-balanced personality with a somewhat expressive nature. Her intellect is keen and her moral and physical courage considerable. When placed in severe stress and life-threatening situations, she tends to resort to a jokey, casual attitude. Hence why she, when she contacted Kansas, she goes, house tricks, like, still is, well, house tricks, I don't understand, it must be a British thing. Always masking any fear. She has a healthy disregard for the most pompous forms of authority and an ability to function in severe conditions. A diehard Democrat, she dislikes any reference to her aristocratic, aristocratic birth, for which she com compensates by criticizing all types of inherited privilege. She has had several lovers, none serious, and treats life as an adventure to be sabered. Hmm. Strip okay, we already took care of that. Oh. Oh, we also had those other recordings that we could have listened to. Judith Haraway, personal audio oh, this is journal, new. Okay. October the 23rd, 2017. It's the first time I've used one of these things, but I can't talk to anyone else, so I'll talk to myself. I put on a hap hap happy face for the rest of the staff, although I doubt I've fooled anyone. Mood has been rather cryptic and ominous recently. I suspect she knows more about our discovery than she lets on. She's very reticent about the Thule file. <sighs> all the trouble started the night after Breakthrough Day. That night, we all dreamed the same dream and awoke with the same word on our lips, Akarak. It it's hard to recall that dream. Bewildering shapes, alien music, a snowstorm in an exotic jungle, a sense of colossal loneliness stretching over billions of years. Oh, it's impossible. Can't grasp it. Dreams are the slipperiest of fish. 
Ever since the start of Operation Akarak, something has invaded the base. It's a subtle invasion, slow, quiet and discreet. It's an atmosphere, a presence. There was a time I wasn't afraid of the night. Oh. So apparently this uh, whole thing was doomed from the start, of course. Come on, cookie pie here. Okay, we can try this. Oh, I have no idea how to mess with that. Oh, I could save too. Let me just uh, take care of that. But yes, it appears that uh, just by landing here. Martian mayhem. It got the worst reviews in history. Yes, I kind of figured it much. But yes, apparently, they might, just by just by building the base here, they uh, disturbed something that they shouldn't have. Something very dangerous. Now let's see here. Let's see here. I hear that. Don't know if I need to like it or not. Really don't know if I need to like it or not. But I got the two blue key cards, so I guess I can use those now. Uh oh, really? You have to get up now, Yuri. Come on, my man. You could you couldn't stay laying down? Come on over come on over, Yuri. There you are. Get off me! Thank you. How much damage did that do? Okay, did a, did a, did a, did a little chunk there. Okay, so he's just gonna... Ah, crap! Okay. Oh, I can... I didn't know I could even name down. Okay. Come on. Come on. No, I no no. You need to die. Thank you. Yeah, there's nothing on him now. Okay. Okay, now I just need to find. Okay, if Brown is right there. Sorry, it's like my, I know my my commentary isn't very good. This has been a weird day, and also, I'm I'm this game is forcing me to think. Okay, I definitely want to go down then. So I want to go straight across from A. I hope that's a... Blue tag required. Thank you! Thank you! Now what's in here? Okay! What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Obviously something that my gun isn't gonna- oh. Am I, um... I thought Kenzo had released all the decontaminants, so why is this one shut? I have a thing I don't want to open that, but I'm gonna have to anyway. There's a couple of loose screws on the panel. Maybe if I screwed the panel tighter. Do I have anything for that? I want to say no. No, I don't believe I do. So I'm just gonna... Yeah, I, I don't know if I want to open that door. That's a change. An old-fashioned keyhole. Is that... Oh! Okay, I didn't know I could do that! I like that! Okay, but we're gonna use that? I can guess which room that opened. Oh. Uh, maybe... Could be a desk okay, key? Okay, so... Okay, so, um... No, I guess I can't go in that room. I don't want to open that big long door. I <laughs> read that, that, that door. I don't want to open that door! Uh... Okay, so if that one was the other one, then the other one should be 
to the right. What the, wait, what the hell was that? What is this? I have to stick in contact. Why didn't I just... Mm. Is there enough rooms on this thing for this? Yes, I should get... I'm too retro for my own good. Yeah, I don't care if you're retro. I, I keep forgetting to drop these here. You don't need these. Just, just, just put them away. Just put them away. You don't need them. Never again. <laughs> they're, they're flavor items. Yeah, you stay down, dude. Don't you get back up never again. Blue <laughs> card. Sorry. Allergies still. Open the door, please. Oh. Uh-oh. I think this is Sterile 1. One of the two sterilization chambers that protect against bacterial infection. No need to use the antibacterial sprays. Yeah, considering uh, he's dead on top of them. Let me look. What you got? What you got, my buddy? What you... Oh. Andrew Muir! Weren't you supposed to be the dude? Ooh. Okay, so, uh, yeah, he's supposed to be the dude that, uh... I don't know, do one, one tag. Um, I don't have enough room here. Is this, uh... Well, let me just go in here. I'll come back for your body later. Reinforced bulkhead. All the bulkheads would close automatically in the event of a bacterial outbreak. If there are bacteria still floating around here, then we're infected. Yes, we are. I guess. Let's see, so can't get into can't get past Broadway there. Okay, where's the med lab then? Let me go see if I can find that frickin' Why do I have this? Let me go ahead and listen to this. Andrew Muir, Chief Infomesh Operator. Day log, August 8th, 2018, 10.17 a.m. I wanted to go down below with the rest on the big day, but someone has to look after the Infomesh systems. So here I am, kicking my heels about the base. Takami's been a pain in the ass, still refusing me one of those guns that Earth Control shipped in. People are getting pretty twitchy around here. Things are quiet at the moment. About a dozen personnel remain at ground level. I'll stick with mood. That computer has more personality than anyone on the base. Mm. Over keeps hassling me about the common escape systems being unreliable in the event of major biohazard. Well, I've done my best with the hardware I've got in this godforsaken planet, okay? And I've rigged a special setup for Airlock 2. That's a neat little piece of electronic artwork, if you ask me. If you want America, <coughs> send for Kenjo Yuji. I'm just an ordinary genius, right? And what's so bad about my little arrangement, huh? Couldn't be simpler. Use the scarab on the door, then speak its name. Use the scarab on the door, then speak its name. Must be the door out of airlock too. Well, obviously that means that Kenzo needs the scarab. And I just realized that, uh... Really, dude, again? Okay. Let me see here. Let me find... Ah, crap. It's in the other room. You gonna come in this room after me? Yes, you are. Oops, that's always a miss. Of course it was a miss. Thank you! Thank you! Alright, let's go. Where's the brown door? Brown door... I need to send the, uh... Where's the... There he is. No, no. Okay, I need to leave the the rock. The where's the locker? So leave the rock for now. A motion rock. Was it sent by Vacuum or received? It doesn't matter either way. No, it doesn't. Could you? There. Leave it there for now. And apparently, I glanced over the walkthrough. Apparently, all the liking and the the liking and whatnot can be sent to her. And she can turn it all into health items. Yes. So ain't that something. Okay, now, uh, the hacksaw is needed. Short. 
with shell uh, teeth. Shut up. Okay. Hacksaw is needed by Karn to get into that shed. And that's got to go to, uh, yeah. I have no idea what the lighter's for. And I need to find a place to put that freaking micro recorder because it's worthless. No. Um, hmm. Making sure. Yeah. So, I... I, uh... Gotta send those items over. Uh, and see? You just realized I just forgot that, didn't I? Yes, I did. So just, there we go. There. Ain't gonna have that problem again. Yes, we are. So, there's a monster on the other side of that one door that she wants to open, despite the fact she hears it. At least she ain't saying so. And she made an observation that we all might be infected. That we're, we're infected. Don't worry, we are infected. But with what? And again, what in the Sam Hill's going on here? Find out next time on The Big Man Plays Martian Gothic. Tonight is Big Fatty Plus. Sayonara. And, um, see if I was in their position and I went on to a base where, you know, the zombies, after I killed them after a little bit, they reanimate. Here's what I would do I'd disembowel them. Or, or I would do the Isaac Clark and smash their brains into bits so obviously the body won't come back. But obviously they didn't think about that. No, they're thinking, no, they're dead. Because I shot them and then go, oh, they got back up again. Why does that happen? <laughs> You're an idiot, that's why.